Navisa Security Light is a solution for NAV delivered from uh, Microsoft and MerchTool.com uh, to a very large degree for free. So what is Navisa Security Light? It's a solution inside NAV to maintain the security NAV. It both has a rotor application, but it also has a classic client application. Um, there's a recorder built-in. It allows you to uh, record a table data permission into roles and you can also add related permission that will solve a lot of the issues that you normally would have by doing recording. You can combine permission from many roles into a single one so if you want to simplify the user assignment you can simply combine many roles into a single role. There's an export and import function for roles and permission making it very easy for a customer to move from a test to a live environment or for a partner to send updates to permissions directly to a customer works very similar to the FOB import of objects. You can copy and add multiple access controls with a wizard so instead of doing one at a time you can actually go in and select multiple uh, roles and multiple companies and it will add all those ones. Contains a feature called snapshots it basically saves off a lot of tables and uh, you can restore data from the snapshots later on or you can manually go compare how your security looked today compared to how it was uh, weeks back or months back. In general, there's fact boxes, role centers, statistics, promotions and a lot of intelligence drill down. Easy Security Lite allow a very easy way to add uh, additional roles in here. So if I want to go ahead and add a role for my creation of sales orders, I would have to record that one. With Easy Security Lite you use the SQL Profiler and uh, I'll go ahead here and just start a new trace in my SQL Profiler. SQL Profiler is a free tool uh, or a tool that comes with the SQL Server and you can use that one for recording. You can use to record your own session or you can record another user actually, um, what they're doing as they're working on their computer. So, but I'll just connect in here and I have my template set up and I'll just say OK. And now my trace is running here and if I go back to NAV and make this one a little smaller, as soon as I start uh, doing anything, you see it now starts capturing transactions in here. So I want to create a new sales order. I want to go and add an item to my sales order and put in a quantity and every time I do this transaction it just goes ahead and capture all that I do in here so and then I go on to hit a close it and this one is now all the transaction to creating a sales order so go ahead and stop that one and save that as a trace XML file and this one was a create sales order so I now want to go ahead and create a new role in here. So um, let's insert another one. Sales and receivables. Uh, create sales order. And I can then go down and import my SQL profiler trace that I just saved in here. So I go look up to my file. Then I have my new create sales order that I just created. I have an option to add related permission and right now I'm not going to do it uh, so it will only import exactly the permission for what I actually did in the process. So I had 72 records and that was all the permissions uh, that I actually required in here. So if I go take a look at it I can see all the permissions. It know that I actually only needed to calculate a flow field against my item ledger so I only got indirect permission but I also have read permission and in permi insert permission and modify permission and so on. Everything I did during the process of uh, creating this sales order. If I want to uh, try import another one where I actually use the related information I'll go check this field and then uh, I'll go ahead and import my SQL profiler trace. 
what the related permission is doing, it's uh, looking at everywhere where you have insert and modify, and then it suggests that you also need to have permissions for all table relations to have read permission on those ones. So I can see in here, instead of my 72, I now got 105 permission, and 33 of them were actually related permissions in here. So the difference between these two rows by adding the related permission is um, exactly all my table relations. So what that means is I don't have to record every little drill down. The ta adding of table relations will automatically go do that. I can also do this after the fact. So if I go to this row, I can go in and say for my sales header here, I want to add related permissions and it inserted 25 records. This one could also be used to correct uh, standard NAV roles that comes from Microsoft, where you basically just go in and add the related permissions directly from in here. So, uh, so I now created a couple of roles in here. One of the other features of Easy Security Lite is the ability to combine roles into a single role. So let's say I want to create a new one that should be sales and receivable all. It should be all sales and receivable roles. And then I can go in and say I want to copy permission uh, from another role or roles in here. And it should be anything that starts with S and R um, and then an asterisk. Um, I can go in as I do this one, I can either add or merge my permissions, or I could also complete the replace. Since it's blank anyway, it's not making a difference in here. Um, but if you are doing this one later, and you have removed permission in some of the rows, you want it to go ahead and replace. But I just want to click OK in here. It was 265 permissions that were inserted, and 463 of them were modified. All the ones that were modified was the one where you normally would have problem with copy-paste simply by having the record already. Now you needed to deal with the individual fields in the row instead of um, just copy-pasting the record. So it makes it very, very efficient to work with these roles, and I can, of course, look at all the information um, that is in these roles in here. One of the features of Easy Security Lite is also that they have an export and import worksheet. So let's say I want to go here and take all my sales and receivable roles and export them uh, to a new file here. I'll go ahead and this one is uh, sales and receivable roles. And I now exported this one. This function is intended to be used um, when moving from a test to a live system. If the partner send updates to the customer, they can send them in this format. If uh, an ISV have updated the permission, they can be exported and then imported and merged together with the permissions already in the customer's database in here. So let me go here and uh, delete these lines, for example. And then I will go to this uh, row in here and delete some of the permissions in here. <clears throat> I could also have added additional one in here, so I wanted to have my table customer or my customer table in here. I would actually have uh, permissions added uh, for that one in here. So um, I now have done some changes, and I now want to go import my file. It, it would probably happen a different way, but this one is just an example to show how it works. So I'll go select import roles. I'll import a file, and I'll select the file I just created here. It now puts them to an import worksheet, and I can see all the roles that are sitting in here. Some of them saying create, some of them saying merge, most of them saying equal in here. That means the role is actually identical. There's other options in here. You could also go ahead and replace the role. So now it suggests to merge the permission, but you could also replace simply with only getting the permissions from the new role. You could also skip the role if you didn't even want to import it. Even the one that say create, you just go ahead and say skip if you wanted to up here. So, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, select all the roles up here, and then uh, process the selected roles in here. So this one now uh, process the role, and before I do that one, it actually creates a snapshot 
and um, a snapshot is just saving off all the permissions inside your system. So I have three rows created. One was modified and it skipped nine of them because they were equal. Uh, so there's no reason to import those ones. So if I now look at it, I have all my rows back again in here. And if I look at this one, my permissions that I deleted uh, are back in the role again here, of course. So, uh, yeah. Another thing that is possible from EC Security is actually to have uh, snapshots in here. And a snapshot is basically saved off the permission. So the one that I went in here and uh, changed right now, if I go look at my snapshot, I can see that I currently have uh, 22 permissions in my live system. I had 17 permissions in my snapshot in here. If I wanted to, I could go ahead here and restore my uh, permissions from this one. So if I went and changed my role by accident and I wanted to restore it, I could go do it uh, directly here by using this uh, restore role and permissions in here. So if I do this one, I now have 17 permissions in the live one. And if I go look at my role again, I can see those permissions I again deleted uh, as I took them out before in here. So uh, the snapshot is a nice way to be able to actually reverse back to a previous function version of the data. Database logins and Windows logins can both be maintained inside EC Security Lite. And there's really no difference between the application. So from database logins, you can copy permission uh, from another database login or you can copy from a Windows login and the same exists for Windows logins also. For each user you can go in and uh, assign permissions in here and there is a wizard here that allows you to assign multiple roles to multiple uh, companies at the same time. So if I want to go add access controls, I can say I want to do all the sales and receivables ones and it comes up with a list of companies and I'm going to select uh, two companies in here and then click OK and now it say add 26 roles uh, to uh, my role in here and none of them exist so I'll say yes and now it adds my 26 access controls in here. I will also allow you to add access controls if they already exist so let's say I want to add a little more in here I want to go in and say this user should also be able to do to-dos and I'll just add select that sales receivable all. I only want to add the Kronos International and it now comes up and say I had only want to add two because one of them already existed of the three roles and yes I want to go ahead and do that one and I can now see my new permissions were added in here. If Peter and John do exactly the same work and need the same permission I actually have an option to go in here and copy access controls from one database login to another and I'll say I want to copy from John and I have an option to just add the new ones but I could also completely replace so if I reduce the permission for John of course I want to replace with Peter but I could also just add new so if I had a manager that needed to be able to do the same as three other users, you could just say add new and it will combine all of them together in here. And if I click OK, I have my 28 access control that used to be on the John. It's now also uh, added to Peter down here. So uh, same way I did with roles, I can also go in and look at my snapshots. And I have one snapshot for Peter. Uh, the snapshot has zero access controls because that's how I started out. So I can actually go down here and say I want to restore that one. And I now have zero access controls again because I just reverted Peter back to the permission he had before I started working with uh, any of this one. The last piece of this application is snapshots and I can do as many snapshots as I want. So this one, if I go down to a new line, I can simply go in here and say I want to create a snapshot and it now copy all my records that is related to security into uh, the snapshot in here. So I can go look at database logins and if I go look at John I can see there's uh, for this snapshot there's 28 access controls and I can of course go look at the access controls also in here 
and same as for Windows login, same as for roles. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and just uh, restore also directly here from my um, list of snapshots in here. So if I looked at my database user John now, I'll see there's now two snap snapshots and I can see the number of access controls in each of them in here. So I can see the history of what changed also. Easy Security Lite is available for 3.6 executable later and it works with all application versions. So even if you're running a very old application, that's no problem at all. It's only new objects, so there's no merge required. You can just import and you're ready to use the objects. It's currently available in eight languages. Um, and uh, the pro product is available for free. Both Microsoft and uh, MergeTool.com deliver the products uh, at no charge. It will require an update to your license where you actually add the module uh, 14,123,010. It's called NAV Easy Security Lite. A NAV partner can add that to any um, license, and Microsoft won't charge a registration fee for that uh, process either. It can also, in some scenarios, be used with the Kronos license. Uh, if the company is called Kronos, it's a possibility to test out the application even without having anything added to your license. Just import the objects in the Kronos database, and you can basically work with it after that. If you decide to register the product, it's not required at all. It will remove the limitation on the recording. And that's the only difference between the free product and the registered product, that there's a limitation on table data. So it only records from table 1 to 50 and from 10,000 to 99,000. Um, that range coincides with some of the standard tables that are very often touched but the 10,000 to 99,000 is all the localizations and all the customizations that you normally can do. So the free products allow you to do updates to the existing roles for all your customization and localized functionality inside NAV. If you want to do a new role from scratch, you would like to register because it will give you uh, the remaining base tables and all your ISV products and add-ons and everything else uh, if you register the product. The registration is done uh, from inside Easy Security Lite to begin with and you basically just uh, send an email and after finishing a credit card payment you get a license or registration key that you enter and now Easy Security Lite is fully functional after that. There's no other NAV modules required, so you don't need to purchase anything else to use uh, NAV Easy Security Lights uh, inside your database. If you want more information, there's a lot more on the MERSTool.com site uh, on the Easy Security Light page. If you download the Easy Security Light application and run it in a Kronos environment, there's several places where the help button is actually launching some quick start videos showing how to use a certain process inside the product. Uh, you can also request a demonstration version um, or other questions by sending an email to uh, info at merchtool.com.